Good morning, this is the media report for Thursday, November 14, 2013. The St. John Police Force wished to advise the public that on Tuesday, November 12, 2013, an arrest was made in the Richard Olin homicide investigation, which began in July of 2011. Dennis Olin, 45-year-old son to Richard Olin, the victim, has been arrested and made a court appearance yesterday in provincial court where he was officially charged with second-degree murder. The St. John Police Force held a press conference yesterday at 10 a.m. where several media outlets had the opportunity, opportunity to discuss openly by way of questions concerning the investigation and were provided those answers. This press conference took place at St. John Police Force headquarters, which is located at 1 Peel Plaza in St. John. This media report will also include one event that transpired on the evening of Tuesday, November 12th. We ask that anyone that has any information that can assist us in any of our investigations to call the St. John Police Force at 506-648-3333 or anonymously at Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477-crimemb.ca. On Tuesday evening at 6.20, our street team conducted a CDSA drug search warrant at a residence located on Davenport Avenue in the north end of St. John. Seized during the execution of this warrant was 20.5 grams of cocaine and a large quantity of Canadian currency. A 27-year-old male and a 23-year-old female have subsequently been arrested during this warrant. They are facing criminal charges of possession for the purposes of trafficking cocaine, possession of cocaine, and also property obtained through the commission of a criminal offense. They were held in custody and appeared in court yesterday morning to answer to the charges. At 12.50 yesterday afternoon, we received a dispatch call to one of the high schools in Uptown St. John regarding a female that was apprehended by school staff and was believed to be in possession of a controlled drug substance. Uniformed patrol members arrived at the school and seized a quantity of marijuana and drug paraphernalia that is consistent with drug trafficking from this 16-year-old female student. She has been arrested and will be appearing in youth court at a later date facing charges of possession of marijuana for the purposes of trafficking. At 10.06 p.m. last evening, we received a call of a male breaking into vehicles on Paul Harris Street near Crown Street. This male was being witnessed by a person who eventually confronted the car prowler. The prowler then took off and fled the scene. We canvassed the area but did, but did not locate anyone matching the description given to us. This suspect is described as being in mid-twenties, skinny with pale skin, dark thin mustache and goatee. The suspect was dressed all in dark clothing and was riding a bicycle at the time of the car break-in. The registered owner of the vehicle was located and did an inventory of their vehicle. At the time of this report, it appears as though nothing was taken. The owner believed that the rear door was left unlocked. And lastly, at 6 a.m. this morning, we arrested a 22-year-old male who turned himself in to police for a previous file of mischief, breach of a recognizance, and two counts of probation violation. This was resulting from a domestic situation at a residence on the Johnson Road back on November 8th. This male was held in custody and will be appearing in court this morning to answer to the appropriate charges. This will conclude the media report for Thursday, November 14th. Take care and have a great day.